A downriver family is living a nightmare all over again after a second pet has become the victim of a coyote attack. This time they fear their beloved Abby is not coming home. Germont Terry live on Gross Eel tonight. Germont, uh, the family's concerned the coyotes won't just stop with pets the next time. They are, Devin, and with two animals, with two dogs attacked and the latest one getting killed overnight, this family believes that it is time to do something about the growing number of coyotes on this island. Nine-year-old Marley keeps staring at the door, hoping his sister, Abby, will walk through it. Just past the rocks is their bathroom area, and then she comes right down that path and comes right back into the house. But Monday night, Abby never made it back inside. In fact, the moment Jeff Giacomantonio's mother let the dog out, a coyote snatched the poodle. As soon as she walked through the door, they made the attack. The family's house backs up to more than 30 acres of woods in Gross Eel, and sightings of large coyotes lurking are becoming all too common, not just in the woods, but in their and neighbors' yards. That they're getting a little too friendly, yes. Just over a year ago, their other dog, Marley, was nearly killed when a coyote attacked. Marley managed to break free. Jeff and his family Actually, believe something needs to be done to curb the growing coyote population on the island, similar to deer hunting. A lot of people are telling us to take matters in your own hands, but it's it's against the law to carry firearms out on you know the, the Grozel Township, so we're kind of suck with our hands tied at this point. Now that this is a second attack and we have small children that play over here. And she has walks with us and, and now she got eaten by a coyote. His children now witness their grandparents' pup get buried in the backyard. Their father fears the wild animals may become even more aggressive. The coyote could have possibly grabbed them and mistake for maybe an animal or something like that. So yeah, we're, we're real nervous right now. Now, most wildlife experts say that coyotes will not attack people, but try telling that to Jeff's family and his neighbors who are seeing these coyotes come closer and closer to their patios. Just over a year ago, when the first animal was attacked, the village went as far to put traps in that wooded area. They say now it's time to put more traps out there. Reporting in Gross Eel, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Wow, what a situation. All right, Jermont.